Trigonometry on the SAT does not go that deep, okay? It's way less intense on the ACT. Um, and there are two different things that you can use to think about this. There's a kind of a shortcut, and then there's the more traditional SOHCAHTOA, which is uh, the most important idea for trigonometry and pretty much the only one you need for the SAT for most questions. So if you're going to go that route, that's totally fine. How would it work? Well, SOHCAHTOA tells us sine, cosine, and tangent, so we need to have a triangle in order to do that. It needs to be a right triangle. And they tell us in RST that the sum of R and S is 90. So basically they're saying R and S are the two um, acute angles and then T is our 90 degree angle. Um, the value of sine of R is radical 15 over four. So you, the way to, to probably think of this is remember that sine is gonna be a fraction or all of these are really fractions. So sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, that's what the so means. That's what all these components mean is they're giving us the ratio. So if the sine of R, which is up here, is the opposite of the hypotenuse, then we can kind of match those up with the radical 15 and the four. So the opposite side is the one across, so that's radical 15 here, and the hypotenuse is always the one opposite the 90 degree angle. So if you do that, now if we wanted to, we could figure out the third side because we are able to use Pythagorean theorem uh, to do that, but don't get ahead of yourself here. Remember what you're being asked, the cosine of S. So remember, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is still four, that's not gonna change. And look it, they changed the angle here. So they moved us down to the S, which is here. So the adjacent is still the radical 15. So this freaks people out because the answer to the question is the same as what we started with. So they, they think they did something wrong, but no. And, and this might be why you take this longer path and draw the triangles out so that you can actually just see why this works. Um, basically, the opposite of this one uh, angle R is also the adjacent of the other acute angle S. And so it kind of works out nicely. Um, the other way to think about this, the shortcut, is that besides Sokotoa, there's another, um, I guess, formula or rule that the SAT does ask about from time to time. We don't always need to go this route, but occasionally on the old SAT, this other formula was the only way to get it and regular Sokotoa wouldn't work. But let me explain what it is. Basically, sine of x is equal to the cosine of 90 minus x, or the opposite, cosine of x is equal to the sine of 90 minus x. And so this seems confusing, but it's basically telling us what we just figured out. Because if we kind of go by what they're even saying in the question, they're telling us angle R and angle S add to 90. Now let's pretend that the x is, let's say, R, the 90 minus x would still would be the other one. So basically x and 90 minus x, the way this is set up are always the two acute angles in the triangle, right? So if we said this was s, it's because uh, this is r, right? It's because, um, to kind of put it another way, x plus 90 minus x is always going to be 90 because those are the, the, that's the sum of the other two angles in the triangle, because if it's a right triangle, the other angle is always right, it's always 90. So it's kind of just a way of like understanding the basic principles of a right triangle. So in this case, if we said that sine of R is a uh, radical 15 over four, right? That's the sine of this angle, then the cosine of the other is going to be the same thing. So this is just proving what we did the long way that they're the same value. Again, because the opposite of one angle is the adjacent for another. Again, if that's confusing, then forget it, right? You don't need to know this rule for the vast majority of questions that test trigonometry on the SAT. Occasionally, it might be the only way to do it, but even if it is a possible way to do it, drawing out a triangle and doing the old-fashioned Sokotoa is usually also a, a perfectly fine way to get it, and if it means getting it certainly and confidently, then I'd rather you take the time because we're still in the easy part of the section, so these are the kinds of points you want to focus on and lock in.